these students stand here before you today. We believe in what our sacred emblem symbolizes. The heart, harmony, balance, peace, love, and everlasting life. This sacred logo has a heritage dating back 1400 years of which 150 years have been documented and trademarked for 27 years. Recently, this precious logo has been slightly tweaked and used by designer Roberto Cavalli. Mr. Cavalli has stayed silent on this issue. However, in a speech given by Roberto Cavalli in 2013, he states, as a designer, you cannot be too truthful. The meaning Mr. Cavalli now attempts to ascribe to our logo is a snake bite. According to him, symbolizing the original sin and the deadly sin, this is diametrically opposite to what our sacred logo symbolizes. To allow this type of trespass against a faith group, a religion, a sacred symbol, is to accept and in essence promote religious animosity. Hillary Clinton in a 2011 speech stated, we've seen governments stand by while certain violence, while sectarian violence inflamed by religious animosity tears communities apart. Francois Holland stated in 2014, this is the land of liberty, of conscience and conviction. It defends freedom against all anti-religious acts that may be committed. According to the New York Times in 2012, attacks on Sufis for their beliefs is not a new thing. An attack on a religious group does not have to be in form of physical violence. It is often more subtle and effectuated by lack of action to these types of trespass. Unlearning intolerance is in part a matter of legal protection, as stated by Kofi Annan in 2004. Mr. Cavalli has voiced his intolerance by this act of trespass against our faith, this act of trademark infringement against our registered religious emblem. The protection we seek is the community's recognition of this infringement and public support in our attempt to stop Mr. Cavalli from his continued use of our registered logo for commercial gain. In his 2004 speech, Kofi Annan also states, the right to freedom of religion and to be free from discrimination based on religion is long enshrined in international law. We hope that this message resonates with you and that you too are able to see Mr. Cavalli's infringement on our religious emblem as a form of religious intolerance and discrimination, which should not be tolerated by the community.